I'm Ryan Lynch from the uh, Assistant Professor at the University of Washington and Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. And the abstract that I'm presenting is concurrent pembrolizumab with AVD chemotherapy for untreated classical Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, this is a single center study uh, that we wrote ourselves and have implemented ourselves looking at the use of the immunotherapy drug pembrolizumab with standard chemotherapy. Uh, pembrolizumab by itself is very active in relapse patients with Hodgkin lymphoma, uh, very high response rates, and many patients are able to get a complete remission. Unfortunately, virtually all of these patients will not be cured with that despite its high activity, and its toxicity profile seems favorable to combine with traditional chemotherapy in untreated patients with the hope of improving outcomes and specifically improving the cure rate in these patients. Uh, our study has shown that this, uh, this regimen is highly active uh, and uh, very successful at getting patients into remission uh, and preventing relapse. Uh, over the course of the study, over 90% of patients at one year remained in remission after treatment with this regimen. Interestingly, we have found over the course of this study that uh, PET scans, which are traditionally used to determine how well the treatment works, uh, may not be as helpful with these combinations due to perhaps false positive PET scans uh, inhibiting our ability to interpret these results. This is in contrast to non-immunotherapy containing regimens where the PET scan has been shown to be much more predictive of outcomes. So in addition to the success in uh, treating many of the patients on the study, we're doing additional work looking at other ways to evaluate how well these treatments work. So for example, we're looking at better ways of using PET scans to help determine the degree of response. So normal PET criteria may not be as helpful here, but do we need to revise them? So trying to get some additional information on that. And also using something called circulating tumor DNA, which can look at the uh, any evidence of tumor DNA just from a standard blood test, and maybe that, uh, perhaps that may be more sensitive than the PET scan alone. So this study is ongoing. Uh, we've gotten approval to uh, accrue 20 additional patients, and so beyond the original 30 that we've treated, and we're very excited to see how well uh, those patients do and learn more information from some of our scientific correlative studies. Yeah, we anticipate it will take uh, approximately two more years to complete accrual of this study. But, you know, for, for newly diagnosed patients with classical Hodgkin lymphoma, we're, we're happy to discuss treatment options in, in a consultation, whether it's on this particular study or other similar studies that we have open for all stages of classical Hodgkin lymphoma.